Yo, how is it going everyone? Welcome back to the Crucible Brothers. My name is Lionhearts and today we are celebrating the launch of Guardian Games by talking about by far its biggest success thus far and that is the triumphant return of Supremacy to PvP as a game mode and we're going to be talking about Supremacy, why it went away, why it being back is super important to the current state of the game and of course, because we can't shy away from controversial topics, we're going to talk a little bit about connection-based matchmaking and how it's the best thing in Crucible in months. So, without any further ado, make sure you guys take a second, like the video, leave a comment down below, helps us out on the YouTube algorithm, make sure you guys support us, and yeah, let's just get right to the video. Alright, Supremacy. What is it? Let's say you've been living under a rock for a little bit and you don't know what this game mode is all about. Supremacy is kill confirmed, but Destiny's addition. Crests are dropped when you defeat opponents, you have to get to a score of 150. Picking up crests gives you a small amount of super energy. All in all, it's TDM with a small objective, this is a Call of Duty classic. It was in Destiny 1, it was in Destiny 2 at launch, but it went away all the way back in 2018. You want to know when Supremacy was last in Destiny 2? It was four years and nine months ago. I double checked. Supremacy was originally removed back in July of 2018, and it's not been back in Destiny since. And man, holy hell was that a different time. That was right around the time when Gambit was first revealed to the world. This was pre-Forsaken. Man, I am old. I've been playing Destiny for too long. And frankly, looking up that information gave me just, you know, that little hint of existential crisis I need in the morning. Uh, and hopefully that spread to you if you're a longtime veteran of the series. We have, in fact, been spending nearly a decade of our life playing Destiny. And that is a tough pill to swallow. But hey, an easier pill to swallow is that Supremacy is back now. And frankly, it's fantastic. And why that is, is frankly one of the most time-honored debates in the history of Destiny, and that is, what is better, Control or Clash? You see, Control sucks, but Clash sucks, but in a different way? So the debate has gone on and on, what is the better game mode for Quick Play, and somewhere along the way we just kind of decided that Quick Play should be one game mode only, which, you know, Bungie just seems to really want that to be the standard. Obviously, we had Quick Play being Control and Clash again recently, but then that was taken away, and we're back to only Control. And Control Defenders, their uh, argument is as time-honored as ever. Uh, objectives make the game less campy, so Control is better. However, Clash Defenders say that zones are bad, it's too easy to spawn camp, Control just isn't interesting. But here's the thing. I like Clash. Clash has one major problem. No objectives in Destiny can lead to some of the most campy team shot metas possible when the game does not incentivize pushing in other ways. Obviously, right now, the Crucible meta is very mid-range. It's very disengage, pot shot, heal, re-engage, chip with pulses, go for picks with snipers, and then close with your shotguns and your fusions. Obviously, that means that people are very passive right now, and that makes Clash, frankly, in my opinion, pretty miserable. In comes Supremacy with the easiest solve of all time. Kill Confirmed, in my opinion, is simply just better team deathmatch. The simple inclusion of the crest incentivizes players to play more aggressively. The benefit of more super energy is enough to make players want to push and reaffirm their kills. So even in this sandbox with all the toxic stuff going on, no time to explain, immortal, cloud strength, Supremacy has sufficiently engaged me to want to play faster, play more aggressive, get more engaged, and frankly, the games have just been more fun. Part of that is connection-based matchmaking. Again, we'll touch on that in a little bit. But the core game mode makes you play differently, and that is very refreshing. So now you may be asking a pretty fair question here. Why the hell did we get rid of Supremacy in the first place? And that is, is uh, an interesting story to tell. If you, again, we're casting back to 2018. This is pre-Forsaken. This is Launch Destiny 2, Double Primary. This is right around the time of Warmind? Maybe like pre-Warmind era? The game was very different. Uh, ironically, had a lot of the same problems we do now with passivity and team shotting. Crucible wasn't even 6v6 yet. So Supremacy was very slow. And it had a big problem where people were not playing the objective. They were not collecting crests. It was a very boring game mode back then for the state of the game. And if I recall correctly, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong here, there was also like a persistent bug where Supremacy was appearing more frequently in the matchmaking algorithm. So like, 
two-thirds of your games were supremacy over control and clash back then. So it just kind of culminated in the fact that the community got sick of it, the game wasn't healthy at that point, and they just nixed supremacy. They just took it out of the rotation. And again, four years, nine months later, and here it is again. The point being, we never got to play Destiny 2 Sandbox with supremacy, with 6v6, and special weapons being shotguns and snipers again. We never got to play a non-double primary version of Supremacy, and I think had we gotten that, I don't think Supremacy would have been removed to begin with because of the different pace of the game. And frankly, it's kind of hard to, to think about, but maybe PvP would have been a lot healthier these last few years had Supremacy stayed. And that comes back to the main point of this video. Supremacy needs to stay. This is a game mode that is good for the game, the health of the game is better with Supremacy, and it going away at the end of Guardian games would be a shame. I've not seen anywhere that definitively says that Supremacy is staying as a rotator game mode, but, you know, fuck that shit to begin with. It shouldn't be a rotator game mode. We need quick play back. We need control clash Supremacy quick play back in Destiny. I don't care about the matchmaking, I would prefer it to be connection based, but... Give us those three game modes back in the current game state, and man, that would be such a breath of fresh air, dude. It would be just an objective W from Bungie. I hope they make it happen. Supremacy being back is awesome. And part of it being so awesome right now is, of course, because it is a pure connection-based matchmaking game mode. We weren't initially sure about that, but after further testing, other people on Twitter are agreed. This is pure connection-based matchmaking. There is no lobby balancing. There is no skill-based matchmaking. You are just playing the players with the closest connection to you, and we're just slugging it out. Good old sloppy, jalopy multiplayer fun. And frankly, skill-based matchmaking supporters, I, I hope you guys see what it's like on the other side. When I say that it is actually tangible, the difference in pace of these lobbies compared to standard clash or control, it is something you can feel immediately. The overall vibe is just different. Not everyone is just playing the best loadouts possible at the best pace possible, taking the smartest angles possible. There is just this overriding sense of freedom. It's more relaxed. And yeah, there are players popping off, dropping 40, 50. You know, players just absolutely farming some huge wins. And listen, yeah, if you're on the receiving end of that, it's bad. I get that. You know, listen... Skill-based matchmaking is a disaster, but I still maintain that like the goal of wanting games to be better for all players is an, one we should try and strive towards. The problem being implementation, right? When you try to enforce this culture of everyone must be at a 50% win rate, you know, you can't really get above a 2kd most of the time because you're always playing lobbies where you're trading out all your kills because players are smarter, they're playing together, they're not giving you room to exploit mistakes. It just leads to an environment where you're not allowed to express the skill you may have gained over time. And this is where I want players who are worse to really pay attention, right? If you're a worse player and you get better over time, the current skill-based matchmaking system will not allow you to see that skill progression. You're going to be moving up slowly and slowly and getting better and better at the game, which happens over time, right? The more you play a game, the better you get. I don't care how bad you are or how little time you have. If you put time into a game, you will get better at it slowly but surely. But in a connection-based environment, you're going to start to get games where you're the one popping off. You're the one dropping 30 or 40 on players because the random chance is giving you those lobbies where you can express your skill individually. However, in the skill-based matchmaking system, you never get those opportunities because of this enforcement, that 50% win rate. All you're going to start seeing is the problems that the best players complain, complain about. The lobbies being stacked, the lobby, lobby balance being bad in your favor. Instead, in Supremacy right now, you get to chance to be individual, to use off-meta weapons and not be as punished. All while playing a more aggressive, free, and open lobby that you're not getting anywhere else in Destiny right now. Frankly, it's a shame. Because we've gone so long now without pure connection-based matchmaking that I think we've forgotten what it's like. So hopefully over the course of Guardian Games, when Supremacy is going to be as popular as it is, we can all take a step back and be like, man, this is what Quick Play should be. Comp should stay comp. Quick Play should stay Quick Play. 
And frankly, when you're queuing up for a quick play match, I want a fast game against players who are close to me with good connections. Nothing else matters. And Guardian Games right now has that on top of a game mode that Destiny has sorely missed. Welcome back, Supremacy. You're one of the best things to come back to Destiny in a long time. And right now, you need to get out there, grind it, and enjoy it. But before you do that, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel for more coming your way, and I'll see you guys soon with another video, or maybe check out our live stream on YouTube. And you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.